What are you guys doing? I'm reading a book. You guys want to come help me with my worm farm? Mm -hmm. I can go ahead. So it's about time that we're going to start cleaning up the worms. We, so we'll, what we do here is we have a vermiculture that we keep. Uh, I keep one here and I also keep one at work under my desk, which creeps people out that I have a, over a thousand little critters underneath my desk. Hey, watch out. There's two big, there's three big chunks of rotting food in here, right? So we don't want to do one here or here or here. That's where, where all the worms are. Hey, baby worm. Find a little one? Oh. No? That's a big one. I found a worm. All this bedding is is castings and um, Daddy, shredded paper. Daddy, Daddy, take a picture. So every week or two, we th fill this up with a bunch of compost remains. You can still see some of the items in here. So there's there's some chunks of eggshell. Here's a seed. There's an old pumpkin seed here's or some, a cucumber here's seed. Some garbage. Garbage with just paper. Just paper. Because Daddy paper. has a grind paper at his work that he puts the grind paper in. Then he puts it in here, Daddy? So in this corner here, yeah. we got um, some actual items breaking down. And that's where most of the worms are. Daddy, They're breaking down the material. Daddy, hey, has worms. move your hands, please. All the worms are jammed in here. Yeah, mommy, did I? Yeah, mommy, did I? Yeah, mommy, did I? This is where all the compost goes. So we got to cover up this food so that they can sit there and eat it. We're going to dig a hole in the middle, down to almost the bottom. In the middle, please, digger. Okay. And we're gonna put this stuff in. So this is some stuff from our compost bin. I can't reach that. Okay, throw some of these old oranges in. I like them. Here, I like some cucumbers and celery. What no. do I do? I break that up? No, that goes to the chickens. So this all goes in a pile in the middle. Yeah, that that's that goes to the chickens. This goes to him. Make sure that's all in the hole. Okay, that's good. So now we cover it all up. Put a big pile on top like this. But don't bury all of the corners. Oh, look at those. those are nice. Hey, hi. we just buried that up. Oh, you're burying them? You're covering them? Okay, good job. So you can get to the food. Okay, good job, guys. Okay. All right, let's put the lid back on. Now, now they can come out and play in the dark, right? Yep. So this is our worm bin. I I made um, for vermiculture composting. So we have all the holes drilled underneath here. Uh, it's a two bin system. The one is sitting on top of the other. We have holes in the bottom of this one. This one here, all I did was put some beer cans in there. Looks like some spiders got in, but put some beer cans taped to the walls. Just keeps it from sliding all the way down. And then if we do have any drainage, it just falls through. Um, not really that necessary. You have the same bin at work under my desk and um, I don't have the bottom half. So why do we keep these worms here? Two different things. It allows us to break down our compost, some of our compostable materials. Uh, most of them go out to the chickens, but we do keep some for here. And then our main reason is for um, using it to start 
our plants in the spring. So when we want to start our tomatoes and peppers and whatever, we have some great uh, castings and um, material here to start our plants in. And we mix it with some of the other soil and uh, start our, our garden. So this month we will be planting all our seeds, starting all our seeds inside. And uh, I'll be harvesting all these castings down where we separate the worms out of the castings and just keep the dark black earth. Some of this paper will still be in there. It's fine. It's, it's not going to affect anything. The other reason we keep these guys is for bait. I have caught a few rainbow trout with them through the ice in the spring when the, when the rivers are starting to open up. Um, I meant to try them and give it a good effort with some uh, white fish this year, but I just kind of forgot and season's kind of over. But they're great to use uh, out with kids if you're using a small hook and a bobber for little sunfish. What do you throw in here? Basically, you throw anything compostable, so any plant products. Um, you stay away from oils, uh, no meat. Um, anything like that. We use eggshells. The eggshells in there help uh, keep the acidic level and everything neutral. So you saw we threw some orange peels in there. That's, that can affect the pH, especially if you throw lemons. There's springtails in here. I have had a few mites in the past. If you keep the bin balanced, you don't usually have any problems. Very easy to do. The kids love it. You should give it a try.